Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is the No Man's Land Survival Challenge series that I'm doing. So in the last episode we got quite a bit done. If I just take to the air we can see a little bit better. So over in the distance there that's the start of our new field that will get planted with cotton today and we bought the cotton harvester. So that will need filled with seed and fertilizer but I think we'll get that going first thing in the game. Uh, we had our first pallet of gold and you know it's going to take us a while because we haven't got any more stones for it just yet. Uh, we also we also have some work to do over at the animals in this episode. They, they've been a bit neglected recently so we need some more TMR made. The cows are going to need more straw and the sheep will need more hay so we'll take these bales of hay that we've had for a while we'll take those over and start doing some of that work. I do have this silage on the trailer there but I need to check its fermentation state because uh, it was only made in the last episode so it might not be fully fermented yet. So to start with I'll get back on the ground we'll get into the fent I think and we'll get that planter going doing the cotton in the cotton field. Probably going to need a front weight. Uh, I think I left it just the other side of the equipment shed here. Yeah, there it is. So this is where we're storing all our seed and fertilizer. So I'm not sure how much seed it's going to take. Uh, 1,000 litres wasn't quite 25% so it would be over 4,000 litres. Well, that's 4,228, seems like a, an odd size. And then our fertiliser. Uh, what's going on there? Well, I want it filled with fertiliser. Oh no, hang on. This is something new. Let me just have a quick check. So these planters here, they can take fertilizer, but it looks like that's a fertilizer. The fertilizer symbol there is in a bag, so I thought that was a bit different. That's in a bottle, so I'm assuming I'm going to need liquid fertilizer. So I'll head up to the store. I'll buy however much it's going to take to fill. Um, And then I'll just see you back at the field when we're ready to get going. So the other thing uh, that I didn't explain at the end of the last episode, because we were running out of time, it was quite a busy one, we'd mown the grass here for so we could uncover these paths. So I just came and painted them in. It's not the best job in the world. It's not as good as my other paths. But at least now we can see where they are and... You know, part of my goal here is to keep the keep the road network as it is designed in the map, but more visible. Right, so let's get this thing unfolded. Right, so we'll just set a worker off. Just check it, so the yield bonus is 95%, so a bit of rolling should bring that right up. Okay, so I'm gonna go and jump into the Massey. And we'll go and check on the silage bales, and if they are ready, we'll take them up. If they're not, we'll unload them and we'll go and move some of that hay over to the uh, animal enclosures.
So it's looking like they're about 90%, 89 to 90% fermented. Um, so let's just unload them here. There's not that many, so it won't take long to pick them up again. Right, so I'll load these up. Actually, I'm going to need the loader. I think it's on the Deutsch Fahr, so I'll need to swap that over before we head up there. Right, so that's our bales loaded up. Oh, I need to move those tree stumps as well. Another job. So I think, oh yeah, we had to put the, the Deutsch far away. So something I'm thinking about doing, I want to finish off the farm. You know, put some more sheds up and finish off around the farmhouse. Um, I know a few people in the comments have, have mentioned it. Uh, but it's just such a time consuming process and I've got so many jobs to do each episode what I'm thinking about doing is maybe do it on a live stream or something like that uh, what I could do is move to the like the start of the next month but set the time you know go an hour early say do it at seven o'clock go in sort of half speed and spend no more than you know two hours on stream doing it and that way I wouldn't ruin uh, the sort of gameplay that I'm doing here where I'm starting about eight o'clock and finishing about four or five depending on daylight so if you think that would be something worthwhile doing you know just drop it in the comments and also while you're in the comments could you give the video a like or subscribe if you're not subscribed or do both really would help this channel out it's um, YouTube has been an interesting experience getting involved with it it's certainly not as easy as I thought it would be but I am enjoying it Right, okay, so I'll just let this reset and then I shall unhitch it and we'll start doing some stuff around here. Alright, so first thing I think I'll just look in the uh, animal tab. So we've got our cows, uh, the... These Holsteins, these are the sort of I think the second batch of the cows we bought, and they're now up to seventy percent on the reproduction. So probably a couple of episodes away before we get our full uh, batch of cows, our full eighty cows. But they say they needed some straw, and the water's good, food's not bad, but you know we could do with making some more. Our chickens, they're okay. Eggs, I need to move eggs out the spawn point. Uh, that's not a problem though and then our sheep they do need a bit of hay got plenty of water um, so yeah everything's good there All right so I'll move these eggs first
hopefully I haven't been too ambitious here with stacking four pallets. So I think I'll just leave them like that for now and then when I get more I can keep building them up. So we'll go and get some straw for the uh, cows to make into manure. So hopefully I can carry these three. So we'll just check on on that. Uh, they could probably take another three bales, so we'll do that. Right, so that's a bit odd. Why is that one not collapsed? There we go. It just needed me to be closer to it. Right, so the other thing that we need to look at as well is our slurry issue. Um, it's not in there, is it? If I go into the into here, you can see we've maxed out now on our slurry. I think we did in the last episode, so we're losing money here now i've been having a chat in the comments with mr general scar um, and he's done a lot of work uh, and we came to the conclusion that actually my original plan was i would use slurry like fertilizer but if i was to turn it into methane uh, with the price that methane is you know it would just be better to do that and buy your fer fertilizer so that was a, an excellent bit of work there by mr general scar so uh, I'll be doing that. So we're going to have to have some way of transporting slurry over to the over to the methane plant. Uh, now, what did I want to look in here? I want to look at our uh, our forage. So it's got no silage. It's got a little bit of hay. Got a little bit of straw. So first of all, we'll stick a couple of bales of silage into the silo king. I think it could take another two or possibly even another three
we go. And we might as well stick uh, a straw in there as well and maybe a couple of hay. Well, actually, it might be easier to put three hay in. One in. <laughs> there we go, and then we'll get a straw bale. Alright, so that's pretty full. Uh, there's not much we can do with it at the moment because our trailer here is full of manure, so we shall get this emptied into the methane plant and then we'll come back and uh, give the cow some more food. Okay, so that's our manure tipped into the methane plant. I want to check on that production because we're not using enough methane or we're not making enough gold for all the methane that we can produce. So it's definitely something that I'll probably end up selling nearly every episode. But uh, making about 40, well over 40,000 every trip. You know, that's definitely a nice little income for the farm. So there's only 10,000 litres of TMR being made so far. But that'll do certainly for this episode. So we'll just have a look at the animals. So yeah, there you can see now the TMR is going up. And the sheep, they they could do with some hay before we go. So I'm just going to put this trailer back underneath the uh, conveyor belt here. So it's actually stopped. It just unloaded what it's got. I think I have to get into it and switch it on there we go how much manure do we have 10,000 litres so that trailer might get filled so like I say we'll just grab three hay bales and we'll head back over uh, to the farm Well, actually, now what we'll do is we'll we'll go and take uh, those pallets of wool over to the spinnery. See if I can pick them up without uh, moving them about everywhere. 
Can I just widen out my forks a bit? Should be able to pick two pallets up like this. And then hopefully should be able to spear these two as well. go right, it's a bit of weight on there so we'll just hitch the auto loader up right so I'll get over to the spinnery with these <coughs> we can get clothes production going again and it looks like I've just lost a pallet I'm not sure how I'll recover this I'll come back for them. Right, so I've got the uh, the last two pallets of wool here, so we'll just drop those in. Yeah, so I've just loaded up those silage bales onto the uh, auto loader as well, ready to go up if they're actually turned into silage I didn't check okay so that's those jobs done now the next one I want to do is uh, go and get all these flowers and planks sold I will just check the store. I think we're too early for the furniture. I think that was June, wasn't it? So uh, I'm really keen to get that sold because I think that's going to be quite a bit of money for us. But just for now, we'll get this, these um, flowers and things sold. And then we'll, I'll just see you up at the store with everything that we've got to sell. Okay, so we've got the flowers loaded, so I'll just stack up these pallets of planks and we'll get them on the trailer as well. Check the production because we might actually be out of planks now. Yep, that's ev that's everything. So usually is about fourteen pallets of planks every episode.
Okay, so I'll just tidy up these two that just exploded on me. Okay, so they're all loaded up. Uh, we'll just do a quick store check and see if there's anything else that we need to sell this month. So we've got the wheat that needs to go into the uh, grain mill. Soybeans, they weren't until yeah June, July time. Uh, eggs, they're like November or something, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, milk we're not selling silage well it doesn't really matter but it's not a bad price uh, we've got flour we've got six pallets of flour yeah but that's low so that can um, well I'm not sure what to do with that bread that's too low cheese yeah it's going down and clothes oh our clothes are worth selling Right, so we need to load up the clothes then. know where that one's going but it wants to wander off so let's just get it strapped in Okay, so just going back to the clothes, nearly 31,000 per thousand litre. So I think we've just loaded five pallets. So, I mean, that's going to be pretty impressive. Uh, honey we sold last month. And the other thing we've got was the furniture, which isn't until June. And that's everything apart from the gold. When was the gold's best price? Not till February, we kind of missed the boat on that one, but something to look forward to. We should have more gold by then. Alright, so I'll get up to the store and let's just see how much this lot's worth. So we just made $253,587. So that's pretty good. I mean, we are going to need a cotton harvester at some point, so it's all handy money. Right, so the Fent has finished doing the cotton harvesting, so that field's going to need rolled. I think I'll give that job to the Massey. And then I think the next thing we need to do is look at getting some kind of slurry tanker to move our slurry over to the methane plant. Oh, these um, silage, these bales are all silage now, so they can be sold. So 
but this shouldn't be too big of a job um, for the Massey so we'll just get that onto a worker there just check it so the yield bonus is now up to 98 so let's just jump into the fent So actually used quite a lot of fertilizer there. I think we put we put two thousand liters in. It's used fifteen hundred liters of fertilizer, and two thousand, yeah, two thousand cotton seeds. So not a cheap job by any standard. I think I'm supposed to wait for it to fold before I move off so I'll remember that next time right so I think I'll just since we've got the seed here I'll just refill the seed tank and then we'll get on with looking at this um, this slurry job right so we'll have a look at slurry so we've got something like this but these are generally used for sort of field work so you would park this at the side of the field to re-top up your smaller slurry tankers I'm actually thinking that this is probably going to be the best thing for us to get um, what does it hold 30 meter cubed and then something like this uh, well, actually, it holds twice that. Um, yeah, and really, we're not. We're only looking for sort of spreading capacity. Not technically looking for the. What's this one? Thirty thousand liters as well. Yeah, we're not looking for a spreading capability. We're just looking for capacity. My only issue with buying something like this is that if you can't unload from it. Uh, but. You know, it's worth, I suppose it's worth the risk. So if we just buy that. Because it is fairly cheap. So we'll head up to the store with the fent. And we'll go and bring it back and we'll see what it does uh, to our transporting our slurry. Okay, so let's just see. Yep, so it's starting to fill up. It's actually not that slow at doing it either. I just hope that when I get over to the methane plant, it'll allow me to unload it. There we go, 65,000 litres of slurry. So, we'll get over to the methane plant with this. And we'll see what it does. Fingers crossed. So I'm hoping that we unload it. Oh god, it doesn't want to stop. There's some weight in this. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping that I just unload it by these pipes down the side here. There isn't like a thing to unfold it. Like I wonder if I have to turn the valve or... Chainsaw is not going to help. Right, we've got a problem. 
I'm not sure what to do now. Let me come in from the other side, see if it makes a difference. Alright, there's nothing happening there. So one last thing is just to try pulling up in front of this um, this hopper at the front. See if anything happens here. Right, okay. Um, so it looks like I'm going to have to get a a tanker after all. It's not a massive issue, I mean, we will get some money back on that. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take this fence back to the farm. I'm going to get the, uh, the lorry and fill up the greenhouses. And then I'll head over to the, well I'll head back to the methane plant, fill up with methane, we'll get that sold. And then I'll see what we can get to transport slurry. So I've just got a little bit of water left. I think that'll go into the gold production though. If not, I'll have to take it over to the um, over to the animals. Oh, 500 litres. Right, I'll just drop this off with the animals and I'll be back over for the methane. So I'm not sure how much methane we've actually got. So I'll just have a quick check. God, he's actually used all that. Yeah, we've only had... No, we've only got a thousand kilograms. Right, so... Well, we'll go and sell it anyway. And then we'll come back with... Some form of methane, of some sort of slurry transporter. So uh, ten it was ten thousand kilograms. I couldn't see the other zero. So he made fourteen thousand six hundred and eight dollars from that. Uh, so what I might just do while I'm here is fill this up with water. This thing really reverses funny. And we'll have a quick look at what we can do for slurry. So I think... I think I'm leaning more towards something like this. I uh, just don't know that it's going to... empty that easy. It's $100,000, well $95,000. But we're making loads of money, so, you know, it's not really a problem. Oh, I didn't buy it, did I? Oh, did I? Let me just check. No, I didn't. Okay, so I'll just leave that water tanker there. And let's, let's hope this works. I'm beginning to think I should have bought one of those agri lorries instead of this one. It seemed like I was saving money at the time, but I think it would have been a bit more useful. So I'm not sure how I would do this. Do I just pull up next to it and there we go. Just it moves straight over. If I look at the um, look at the menu here. I'm hoping that I'll just pull up in front of one of the uh, one of the triggers and it should empty. 
And while this is doing this, let's just nip over and see how the rolling's going on. Alright, so it's about two thirds of the way through. So that'll get finished in this episode. Um, so what we could do is we'll get in the fence and we'll go and get those silage bales sold. Okay, so that was $22,700. So definitely, I think the last job will be getting the slurry into the methane plant. Um, in next episode... I'm actually thinking that the soybeans could be ready. They're only, if they're not ready next month, it'll be the month after. So we'll have a job harvesting them and we'll have to buy ourselves a new trailer to put all the soybeans into. I think one of these fields is quite close as well. Uh, possibly the wheat. So we might have quite a big harvesting job coming up. I think this sawmill will probably be running out of wood again. I haven't I haven't actually checked on that, so we could probably do with getting some more trees chopped down soon as well. And I need to get these stumps removed. So let's get back to the uh, slurry tanker, and it is full now, so... First of all, I'll just move in front of this uh, where we put the manure. See if it lets me unload from here. It does not. Oh, there we go. Start over. Uh, not sure where that's going to so let's just check oh yeah so it's going into the um, it is going into the methane plant that's great so we'll just get this refill in again So we're up to 30,000 litres there. Uh, I need to enable the slurry, I think. Activate that. So that'll start making methane. But our gold plant should be full of methane as well. It is. And our fabric. So we've got 3,000 litres of wool. And it's distributing fabric to the tailors. So that's coming along nicely. Our sawmill. Right, we've got 4,000 litres of wood. So while we're messing around, the last job of the day, for sure, I'll go and get the winch. And then we'll pull some more trees down and get those into the sawmill.
Right, so I think that's good enough. Can I attach the winch? Am I out of range? Or is the winch even switched on? It says it's switched on. There we go, that's better. So we'll just pull these in. So it's just pulling the tractor closer to me. Um, Probably not the best way of doing it, but it's working. So I think I'm stuck on a tree stump there. Now somebody did say in the comments, and I'm not sure it works, that you can remove stumps with a chainsaw. I thought you just needed to have um, the lumberjack mod enabled. Ah, it's cutting that tree. Okay, so maybe I can take this stump down a bit. That's freed them up, I hope. Alright, so we got them free in the end. Just a bit of brute force, that's all it took. Something the fence pretty good at. So it's got 3,700 litres, that's 22,100, so that should keep us going for a little while. But we're definitely going to get through those trees pretty quick. There might be enough there to last out the series, but uh, I'm assuming that we'll only run for 45 episodes like they normally do. Right, so I'll just go and check on the slurry that's now full again so we'll get it unloaded it actually says i can start overloading from here but i think that's putting it back into the into the holding tank
There you go. So hopefully that is going into the into the um, it is up to thirty three thousand. Right, so I think that'll do for this episode with the slurry. So I'll just... Um, well, I'm not sure where to leave this tank, actually. Probably just leave it down the side of the gold building. So it looks as though the mass is finished now. I'll have a quick look at the map at those fields. So that's all growing now. And if we just drop down shouldn't be any weeds should be fully fertilized as much as it is or it can be it doesn't need plowing doesn't need lime no longer needs rolling so if i just have another look if we go back you can see here the soybean field and the oat field they could be in the last stage you know in fact the oats could be ahead of the soybeans looking at it so maybe we'll have the oats next and then the soybeans the episode after that so that's all for this episode I'll get this uh, Massey back in and I think in next month probably do some more silage get get uh, the mowers out and get that grass cut and get it baled as well so that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, as always, if there's anything you think I could do better or any good suggestions, please drop them in the comments. You know, I'll, I love having that interaction. And if you haven't liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And that's it for this month. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye for now.